and we're back! This is Somnambulous Gaming, and we are playing Final Fantasy Origins. It is time to get this volcano business going. Oops, centipedes. I'm actually pretty much at full health anyway, but hey, we have a V2 character. Get used to seeing that one, folks. I'm going to be using it a lot. Excellent. It's not like Pat has much else going on in a turn. Now, this dungeon is a volcano, which means it's full of goddamn lava. That's a very complex idea there, and I'm not sure you're prepared to handle that. It's clearly something you've never seen before. Let's knock out this ogre mage. You know, you just don't want to let anybody with spells get too nuts on you. Yeah, I can dig that. That ice brand. Exceptional. Actually, I think there might be another one somewhere here in this dungeon. That'd be really nice. I could be wrong, though. For some reason, Pat's faster than everybody. Faster than the ninja. I think you take one point of damage for every step on the lava, which isn't really a big deal. Like, it's honestly, a lot of times, uh, since you don't get encounters while you're on the lava, it's, it's actually easier to just walk on the lava. Which is silly, but hey, it's useful to know. Wow, you're the best fighters. There's them stairs. I'm gonna go ahead and go down there. I don't think there's anything going on in this level. This one has all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Drop a hill gig is pretty quick. Those guys aren't too nasty this late. Down. Yep. That's just how it goes. Fire Hydras are pretty nasty. I believe they use that Blaze ability those Hellhounds earlier were using, except they're not pitiful, so it kind of wrecks you. But this guy won't last. Yep, he's out. It can get pretty dangerous if there are other guys around with it. Yes. Upgraded Fiery Nomos. That's pretty cool.
they're not going to get much done, though. Yep. Yeah. Good kill. Mithril Helm. That's not particularly useful. Drop that lightning up in here. That's gonna speed up these big group fights so much. Oh man, it's so useful. And the best part is it's free. Like that result. Man, going through dungeons like this is almost tranquil now. It'll get harder later, though. The last couple dungeons, especially the last one. That shit is crazy. Another Pyros. Guess how useful you're gonna be, Pyros. If your guess is not much, then you are correct. Oh, wait, what? No, damn it! Wow, I'm an idiot. I blame myself and, and uh, Satan. Myself and Satan. Equal parts blame. Wow, I actually survived a round. That's nice. down. Yes. Let me open this dang chest. Wow, that wasn't worth it. Oh, shitload of centipedes. I've heard of people who have had dreams like this. Just centipedes everywhere. Just all flopping around and crawling in your business and all in your shirt and your pants and stuff. Doesn't sound like much fun to me, but hey, to each his own. Got a little bit of poison going on, but I have 199 antidotes, so I don't give two shits. survived. That must have been pretty low. Drop an antidote on Pat. And we are ready to go for another battle in two steps. So it's again with the lizards. These liz lizards aren't useful in any way this late in the game. He's just gonna be like, blah! Just hit Pat for one damage. Like, you, you got the guy and or lady man in a dress, and 
you walk up and you're like, Rawr! one damage. Like, that's, that's not very effective. You can't really do that and expect to be useful. Even the Hill Gigas is better, but I mean, the Hill Gigas is pretty strong, so that's pretty much how it goes. I'm rambling a bit. But uh, if you're in here 18 videos in now, you've probably figured that out. You can see him keeping up that vault. Because just that little bit of health every turn isn't very useful, but isn't that much, but uh, it's on everybody, every turn. Whereas the enemies aren't likely to hit everybody. So in all the turns where the enemies are hitting the one guy, maybe he's not gaining any HP. But in the turns where they're not hitting him, he's pretty much gaining all the time. So over the course of time, it just helps you keep going for a while. Wow, that one horned devil took three guys to take down. That's just too bad. The healing staff with everybody at full. Bunch more money. Wow, Lars really isn't stepping up too much. But at least he's wearing some of the heaviest armor in the game. Like, he's not going to go down that easy. Yeah, you can go ahead and bind him. I don't care. Good job, Pat. Really, it just boggles my mind that people apparently go through the game doing uh, four white mage teams. Like, how do you even manage that? How do you kill things? I can only imagine it'd be some business where you just stand outside of Corneria and fight goblins until you're level 28, and then just brute force everything. Like, I can't imagine that being anything other than a grind fest. Yeah. Oh, come on. I gotta go back through over there. That makes me unhappy.
This is still the start of the dungeon, so all the fights are pretty easy. It is going to get a little harder later on, but honestly not that much. And it's almost unfortunate that I've got that power spike from those couple of magic items I can use. Going through these dungeons is pretty much just an element of using time. It's not even particularly dangerous anymore. It will be, though. It gets there later on, but... This is probably the peak of player power. Uh, this and maybe part of the next dungeon where you've, you've picked up the new classes and you've got the stuff and uh, you can heal for free and you can damage for free and there's really nothing much going on that can hurt you too hard. I'm gonna say that and then later in the dungeon I'm gonna get like jibbed by something and it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be like yeah and in fact, I'm probably going to be more like yelling and shouting, being a crazy person. But I can pretend. Alright, let's go through the queue here. I'm not even sure what they've got in here, trying to put in ogre chieftains like they're useful. Lars and Pat leveled up. That's nice. This frigging chest better have something useful in it if I'm going to burn this much time getting it. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be annoyed, and then nothing's going to come of me being annoyed at all. Oh, Pyrolisks. These guys... I don't remember what the hell these guys do. But they're bird guys, and those are always a bad thing. I bet they probably have some status effect that's a pain in the ass. Or maybe a special attack or a spell or something. Come on, Jack. Drop the lightning. Hey. Oh, they're kind of pitiful. And I'm going to have to go run all the way back up and down just to get back out, too. It's ridiculous. Well, I might accidentally run from the battle. Yep. That happens sometimes and you're just like, yeah, let's fight, and you, you got your fists going and you're just like, yeah, and then suddenly you're out of battle and you're like, what happened? I don't know what's going on. A sword of some sort? That's kind of okay, I guess. Like that extra... Accuracy is cool, I suppose. Yeah, might as well.
All right, let's get out of here. Whenever possible. Excellent. That's a well placed lightning right there. Honestly, the enemies on this floor are just really weak. Like, this volcano needs to step up its game a bit. Too bad you gotta spend so much time in here trying to get all these chests. The rest of the dungeon goes a little faster. In general. Okay. Wow, that was worthless. This is probably gonna be similarly worthless. But you never know. That was a good hit. That was kind of a pitiful hit. a potion. Tent. Oh my god, I'm in a little box of chests. I'm gonna sit in here, I'm gonna make a nice little uh, fort, and I'm just gonna hide in here. my box of boxes. I'm gonna expend all my excess imagination stat here. Wow, that was worthless.
that was potentially the worst treasure room ever. Lars is not keeping up his end of the bargain here. He gets to dress like a ninja. He needs to murder people a little better. Alright, now let's see if I can get over to this door. That's a good hit. You know, I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna find that the answer of can I get to this door from here is gonna be no. Finish him off, Jack. Eh, almost. That would have been the best pack kill ever. Good lord. Really, this shit just gets annoying. Like, I'm just trying to figure out how to get down to the bottom corner. I can't even look where I'm going. It's just step up, up, oh, we got up. But no, uh, what, uh, oh, we're, we're in, uh, uh, can't see anything, can't do anything. Let's just fight every Hilgigas who has ever lived or will ever live. All of the billions upon billions of them that will ever exist in the universe. And these goddamn lizards just need to go away. They don't belong here. They are just embarrassing themselves. It's sad. It's it's really, really sad. And it's looking like I can't get where I'm going. Nope, that's a solid wall. I have to f***ing find my way all the way back. That's a good time. Wow. That was a not just a pat kill, that was a pat one shot. That may be it well it may be that that has never happened before. Uh oh, yeah, I remember that. If it is so that that is the first time Pat has ever one shot anything, I believe it. Oh yeah. Healing staff. Got that buzzing. I don't know what's up with that. Alright, let's get out of here. I think there's a door down this way. That I might get to someday.
You know, you'd think that Claymore that does extra damage against Dimes would work against a Hill Gigas. Because Gigas is like a word for giant or something. But he just smacked that dude for his, like 60 damage. That was nothing. Like, that was kind of sad. was two hits for four. Ah, excellent. Honestly, it probably would have been better to just skip the thief. Just get a second fighter and be a badass. But I prefer not to have multiples of the same class. See, I wonder what the point is even of this, because you could see all the way up there. I don't think there's any loot or anything. It's just a little hallway that's just there so that you can have a hallway. Alright, well, these stairs go down to the dungeon proper, where hopefully it'll be a bit more exciting. But, uh, unless I've lost all sense of time and space, uh, this video is going a bit on the long side, so I'm going to call this now, and I'm just going to uh, stop recording, and start recording again, finish the dungeon. That's, uh, the trick I'm gonna do here. So, this has been Somnambulous Gaming. We've been playing Final Fantasy Origins. Thank you very much for watching, and please join us when we hopefully finish this dungeon next time. See y'all later.